In today's video, what's the best way to figure out your maintenance calories? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, we're going to discuss a topic which is very common amongst those of us that are looking to add muscle and lose body fat. And if that's the thing that you're interested in, well, please hit the subscribe button. It's what I love to do here. Let's give out some information to help you guys reach your goals. Now the question comes from right here on my Instagram direct message. So if you'd like to send me a question, please send them, but also please be patient because sometimes what I do is I take screenshots of them and then I hold on to them to when I have time to answer the question. So today's question is like this. What's your advice on how to work out your maintenance calories? I'm skeptical to use these online calculators, etc., as I don't feel they're accurate. Thank you. So let's first talk about what makes up our maintenance calories. And I want to make this quick because it's a pretty simple answer. So the basics are we have a basal metabolic rate. Now, if you just think of basal metabolic rate, that's just the energy our bodies use to do things like breathe. And that is just what we call keeping the lights on. Okay, so our basal metabolic rate makes up the far majority of what we do. Now, that, that basal metabolic rate can adjust. Then we have NEAT or non exercise, activity, thermogenesis. This is any activity that I do, such as moving my hands like this, that is not considered exercise, but does burn calories. This also makes up a significant amount of the calories we burn during the day. And it's one of the first things to adjust when we enter a caloric deficit and we try to start losing body fat, our bodies start conserving energy. If you've ever seen somebody really lean, you'll notice that they just seem to move less. They start to conserve energy. And this is something that I really had to start paying attention to with my clients and myself as I was dieting. And the third and final thing is exercise itself. What are you actively doing, cardiovascular, weightlifting, that is going to burn calories? Well, that is going to make up usually the smallest portion of this unless you're really trying to use exercise and cardio as a way to create your deficit. There are many different formulas that try to predict our basal metabolic rate, but the Harrison Benedict, which I'll put in the description below, is probably the most well-known and the most consistent. And I'll even give you a link below where you can go figure out what your BMR is, and based on that, you can then adjust. Now, for someone that knows what their BMR is, well, you can actually kind of figure out how many calories you need a day for maintenance. They suggest around 1.2 times your BMR if you're sedentary and as high as 1.9 if you are highly active. So when I plugged my numbers in, what it told me was that my basal metabolic rate was around 2,200 calories. So that means if I'm highly active, that I'd probably be around 4,300 calories a day to maintain. Now, what is highly active? Well, somebody that is moving a lot for their job, somebody that might be waiting tables, maybe a postman that's doing a lot of walking, maybe you work, I don't know, in construction, and you're just outside constantly moving. These are high activity jobs. What would sedentary be? Sedentary would be you roll out of your bed, you get in your car, you drive to an office, you sit in your desk all day, you get in your car, you drive home, you sit on your couch, you go to bed. That's sedentary. So your basal metabolic rate is gonna be very close to how many calories you actually burn during the day. So what I've done is I've put a calculator on my website free for you guys. All you do is go to prophysique.com on the homepage, you scroll down a little bit, there is a calculator there. You plug in a bunch of information and it's going to give you an idea of what your maintenance calories are, what your calories should be if you're trying to bulk, what your calories should be if you're trying to cut and if you're trying to cut aggressively. This is just a free estimate tool, but I've gotten some really good feedback that it works pretty well. But what is the best method? What is the most tried and true? What do I do as a coach? Okay, there are two ways to handle this. You can trust an equation or you can do what I call a diet recall. That's right. So basically you just start tracking what you're eating. Normal human behavior dictates that we maintain our weight within a few pounds. You ever been really hungry? That's well, probably because you under ate or were overactive the day before. You ever feel really stuffed and you just say, no, nope, I'm not gonna eat anything right now, I'm not really hungry. That's probably because you were a little more sedentary or you over ate. Our bodies have a natural way of maintaining our weight. So what we typically do is kind of eat in a consistent pattern. If you overeat one day, you might under eat the next and vice versa. So the best way for me as a coach and for you to learn your true maintenance calories is to actually do a diet recall and an activity recall, just tracking what you've been doing 
and I usually suggest at least a week, right? Because there might be some big variations. And the key here is you have to be honest with yourself. You actually have to track everything you would normally do. You can't change your behavior just because you're tracking it. Therefore, it's not reliable information. And all we're looking for here is an average calorie intake over time. So if you eat, let's say 2,500 calories one day and 1,000 the next, and then 3,000 calories and 1,200 the next, and your weight kind of goes up and down over that week, but you find it's actually maintaining, and you find your calories go up and down over time, but they're actually maintaining, that is the best, most accurate way to get information. Why? Because our bodies are very dynamic. So just because you plug in some information into a calculator, that is data that has been derived from thousands of people, but those people are not you. They do not have your experience. They do not have your kind of history with, with dieting, with training, whatever it might be that goes into what makes you you. You are uniquely uniquely identified, and this is the best way to get true information about what is your maintenance calories. Now, I know that way is kind of annoying, but what I really would suggest, if you don't wanna do that, is I would suggest you use the calculator on my website, you figure out what your maintenance calories should be, you try hitting those for a week, and see what happens. If the scale goes down, well, guess what? You're eating not enough. If the scale goes up, you're eating too much, and if the scale stays relatively the same, then you're bang on with your maintenance calories. Really, the only way to find out is to just start tracking. And whatever you wanna do for tracking, whether you wanna have a plan before, or whether you want to just kind of figure it out as you go and do a diet recall, either way is great for me. It's up to you to put in the work to figure out what your maintenance calories should be though. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.